Do you like half-naked men oil up their bodies, step into a ring and punch each other's lights out? Well, Bloodspot lovers, you're in for a treat. Martin Luther goes cage-fighting reformation style right after this. It's not the rumble in the jungle. The prize fights that await Martin Luther entered history as a Heidelberg disputation or the Leipzig debate. The rivals are not set to hit each other in the face until one goes down and doesn't get up anymore. That would have been too easy. No, the punches they throw are theological arguments that are so thought out, so compelling, so irrefutable, so flawlessly crafted that they will devastate the opponent and terminate his credibility as a theologian. The first fight is a Heidelberg disputation in April of 1518, in which Rome directs the Augustinians to officially kick Luther's behind in a public theological debate. But the plan sadly backfires. Instead of letting the air out of Luther's arguments, the debate converts many of the listeners that Luther has a point, and many of them turn into leading reformers. In this debate, Luther develops his theology of the cross that says that Jesus came to us, suffered and died, so that we can be with Jesus in his resurrection. It's not the theology of glory Jesus, who is a far-removed divine judge, but someone who is smack in the middle with us in our mess, in our hurt and in our brokenness. Jesus came to save us. He doesn't sit in heaven to check if we have saved ourselves. Losing the debate doesn't sit well with the Church. It is Frederick the Wise, Grand Elector of Saxony, who protects Luther from being summoned to Rome, a trip he would have had rather slim chances to survive. Instead, Rome comes to Luther in the personal of Cardinal Cayetan, the papal representative to the imperial diet. And in this case, the diet is not a low-calorie meal, but it is the assembly where the business of the empire is done. It's Congress for Holy Romans. October 12 to 14, in 1518 in Augsburg they meet, the lowly monk and the full ecclesiastical power of the status quo. And Luther is afraid of him, and he better be afraid of Cayetan, because Luther's emerging theology challenges the authority of the Pope, and Cayetan has this message to deliver. Shut up. But the meeting does not end in silence, but in a shouting match. Luther is ready to recant when proven wrong by scripture, and Cayetan insists that all that is necessary for Luther to recant is the authority of the divinely ordained church, which commands Luther to recant. They don't reach an agreement. Cayetan has orders to arrest Luther if he does not recant, but Luther sneaks out of town before it comes to that. So what do you do when someone tells you to shut up? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Just a little click on the red button, the one that says subscribe.